Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, uh, I wanted to bring up a subject. Is profit, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little call, profit trailer and profit feeder worth it? Um, I've been running this for a few weeks. Um, I kind of got it down. I by no means um, broke even on the software. With profit trailer, it seems like um, unless you're working number one, Profit feeder, uh, profit feeder or profit trader. Profit, the trailer is the main bot. It's easy to use, and then there's profit feeder on top of that. They charge you more money, and there's even a uh, profit trailer graph or something with they charge you more money. So everything they charge you for. Now there is PT Magic, which is free. Uh, I tried it momentarily, but since I have this, I'm trying to get this software working the correct way. I went through the different stuff like with DCA and different things like this. I kind of don't like DCA because it builds up a lot of bags, okay? Um, so I'm right now using low BB with no bags and no DCA. I just set it for a number, you know, 50%, 10%, and uh, I let it run. I kind of monitor it myself. I was going to have stop loss and all that, but I, I found out just monitoring it every other day, whenever it gets up to be like 6%, just sell it get rid of it and let your bot pick another one and it seems like it's been working as you can look on here um this is not continuous to be running like uh i ran it for one day basically and you could see my profit here 14.03 okay and if you go to the sales logs you can kind of see what kind of sales numbers i'm getting here 72 cents 67 cents 61 50 11 cents 58 uh, i did get a big one back there i got a dollar six and uh before that, there was a $2 one, but don't forget, I've been changing so much. But these are some of the gainers, and I knew Neil would do that. So, um, possible buy logs, you could see it's true trailing. Uh, right now, I have it set for 23. You could set it for whatever you want. I found out zeros works good, uh, in the 20s works good, even in the 40s work good. Uh, and, you know, it looks like it's, it's working good. Um, I tried EMA Sped, and it sucked. A lot of people on the internet too, like YouTube and stuff, I think they just want subscribers um, because if they give you all these settings and half of them do not work. And a lot of, I think it's old information. Uh, I myself uh, would have to say, you want to go with a loss or like a uh, low BB or a high BB. Uh, I would probably stay away from the EMA spread because uh, it gives it too much of a, uh, you know, a, a median line. Uh, Really, what you want to do is um, you want to pick something. When it goes up, you want to sell it. And it doesn't have to go up a lot, you know, half a percent or something. And at least you're making profit. So if you're making, you know, 25, 0.25 or 0.50 or 1% profit on every trade you made, and you make, you know, 5, 10 a day, you can make a pretty good money. And then it's, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not limiting the bot to go for the highest because it might not because uh, i've been noticing uh with currencies cryptocurrencies um they spike and then they go down and sometimes they don't spike real high like i said with neil 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 i had seen uh neil btc i had seen that at dollar five and i'd seen it as high as a dollar 41 and a lot of times i used to do it manually but the problem is doing it manually you can't do it fast enough you know, and you have to babysit it. So um, if you can set your body at least to do like uh, buy when whatever gets to zero percent, and you know, it'll, if it gets to zero, the chances it's going to go over zero. Uh, kind of minus. Uh, I, I never had very many, very much luck with that because uh, I can never find possible buy logs or buy trade areas for those when they're that low. So uh, positive numbers, and like I say, I would say anywhere from ten percent to. 50 60 percent because if it's up at 60 percent chances are it's going to go up another half a percent and then go down so uh but you know like i say i, I monitor them so but i'll just show you my pairs log right now and you can see i've got one already at 0.38 profit uh my triggers at 0.55 but these are all pretty low and even this 343 if this gets to five the ctc i'm i'm just gonna I, and what i usually do is just i have uh the binance on my smartphone i log into my smartphone and I can see what my total balance, how much I have. So, you know, uh, like I say, I can go in there and it'll say 550. So if it gets down to 540, and I've got some of these numbers here, which are like, I would have to say if they get down to like 5%, I would just sell them. Because uh, you lose maybe a half a percent or something, but in the long run, 
it gives your time your bot like you see it can buy this one or you know it can buy these other ones right it, it can buy something else there's not a lot in it right now but uh, I found well, usually it later at night it gets more action but you can see for one day my profit 14.03 which is very good okay uh, that's my profit yesterday was 1.52 but don't forget uh, it was only up a half a day and the whole week this is not from a whole week this is probably from like two or three days because I've been experimenting with this but I don't have any DCs in there I have no red numbers up here which I like it and that's fine and uh, I even have a balance and I have 496 and the total my total value is like five hundred and six dollars or something when I look at my phone because uh, I just use my phone and it works really 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 good and um, I could even probably uh, you know if I can if I get a chance I'm, I, I'll, I'll I'll throw a screenshot of my phone in there and it shows you um, the information on that but I might not be able to. I'm basically just doing this one to show you what's going on. So this is interesting. And also, you know, I have the profit trailer. So I have it running in the background. You can see. And you can look in your uh, profit, uh, profit feeder, rather. Profit trailer feeder. Uh, and you could read a lot of things in here. And then you can go in here. And you can see uh, with profit trailer, you can read what it does. Con uh, configuration changes. Uh, uh, limit sale. Buy stop. You know, it'll go through here. It'll tell you a few things about you know, the market or what it's doing. See, it says your status filled and stuff. Oh, it'll say status filled and different stuff like that. So it has all the information. Of course, you have your config here too. Uh, you won't have your config unless you turn it on in your profit trailer. Uh, it won't show the config. But uh, I wanted to show you that, and that's pretty interesting. Let's see where Paris log is at now. It's at 0.46, and it is going up. So this is kind of what you want to see. Uh, I've got it set for 10 pairs. Um, like I say, it is uh, fairly um, big amounts that you're buying. I can find my phone. I'll look at my phone because it's so much easier to look at my phone that way. And I've got a remote section of uh, um, Team Viewer on here where I can just access it. This is just a regular little Dell computer in my house, and I'm not spending ten dollars a month. It's a very small. It's a thin client computer. It's it's really pretty nice but uh let's see here if i go to finance on my smartphone i can just go in there and look and says okay so my 507 dollars and 47 cents it's gone up a dollar since i last now it's at 50848 so it's climbing but don't forget in this bcc i have uh 75 dollars in the eth erythrium i have 88 and wtc wtc i have 72 if the Erythrium uh, Classic, I have 70, and in the Power, I have 82. So those are the numbers I have in it, and I have, a, you know, almost four, uh, 500 spread out. But you can see how that's climbing, and uh, I still have 45 left. If it finds one that wants in this possible buy log, it, it may buy it. Right now, there's only one, with it, which is okay. Um, I'd rather be safe. It's going to 45. Um, you know, we can talk a little and watch how it goes and see where it goes to. Um, I just got an email, so let me check my email. See if he's emailing me something. Uh, that's actually comments. YouTube comments. Uh, yeah. Bunch of stuff. Let's see, 45, it's still at. So it'll, it'll keep climbing, but uh, that's nice because I don't have a very high uh, buy on there. I only have it 0.55, which, which is not bad. So uh, when it gets there, uh, you know, I'll make a profit relatively fast. But I'm going to show you that guy. Uh, is profit trailer worth it? Well, you know, it's, it's not going to make you a millionaire overnight. It might have when the market was going crazy. And I think if the market climbs up again, and you're working with enough money. I'm only working with 500. I think if you're working with a thousand, you could probably do pretty good. Um, but you got to keep it tied up in exchange. That's the only problem. What happened here? It looks like it refreshed. Let's see what it's doing. Still at 45. But you can see my sales logs. They're all green. This was the one that uh, where it was what one dollar fifty nine. There was one we had. Uh, that's not in here. One of them was like 25 percent. But dollar fifty nine is really good. Those numbers aren't really that bad. So. She's back up, and I'm going to look at my smartphone, and I like to have the Binance on your phone because then you can check your balances from anywhere. Um, 
508. So that, that's really good. I was down to like 430 the other day. So it's actually picking up. And uh, I like what the pairs logs looking. It's at 0.48. It's going up. But thanks a lot. I wanted to show you that. Uh, is profit trailer or profit feeder worth it? Well, if you bought both, you're going to have like, it's like $400, $500 into it. It's a lot. Uh, it would probably take a, way, a while to pay it off, but if you're at least getting a few, uh, you know, two, three um, a day, you know, I have these, these here at 14.2. If you're getting these amounts every day, it's sort of like mining. And if you mine too, uh, when I just have uh, this computer here, is, I don't have a, a VPS or a VPR or any of that other stuff. I just have a small little Dell i5 with 8 gig of RAM in it and a solid state drive. It's running wireless on my network. I have a pretty good wireless connection. Uh, let's see what my air connections are. I always screw up on how to do this. But there we go. Uh, we are looking at um, 585 megabit connection. So we are pretty good. And uh, so this works out pretty good uh, for our connection speed. It's good. Uh, but I want to show you that. Um, and you can get a cheap computer like that for... You know, be 500 bucks off of uh, Amazon, and then, then uh, if you know you're saving 10 to 12 dollars a month, you know, it pays off yourself in maybe you know 10, 12 months or whatever a year, and you still have a computer. But I'm going to show you that, and uh, let's just take a